to Loretta's amazing science center. Today we will learn about chromatography and other and capillary action and other amazing science experiments. And then then we will learn then we'll learn the science behind it. Right. So now I'm going to pour water in these cups. As you can see that we already poured all the water in the cups. Now we're going to put this coffee filter. This coffee filter inside the water to see if black ink is really black. There it goes. I can see it. It got wet. Ooh, I see some blue in it. Okay, like we, like we were doing the experiment earlier, do you think black ink is really black? Pause the video and tell me in the comments. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> this is chromatography. Chromatography is the separation of a mixture which the components move to at different rates. As you can see in the black ink, you can see the brown, pink, and red are heavier weight, so they move slower. And you can see the blue is on the tap top because because the because it has lighter weight and it's fat and it moves faster. But in the dark blue ink, pink is is lighter weight, so it moves faster than the light blue and purple. That all deals with capillary action. I'll explain capillary action to you. So, as you can see, we have communicating vessels. And if you pour liquid in one of them, they'll all balance out and have the same height. But so this is communicating vessels with capillary action in the two of them. In the last two. If the skinniest in the in this one is if you pour it it will rise the it will be the highest overcome the gravity and and that's called capillary action and then I will show you a little experiment so I have a Larry tube made out of glass right here and then you can it's a very easy experiment I have green food dye and a cup of water and all you need is capillary tubes so, just just sit and wait for it to rise up and if you see that 
it is half the container. It is half the container. It's like a tank full of water. So let's just pour that out. And then that's it. No. And capillary action. This separation of the colors were possible due to capillary action of the chromatography. Sorry for bringing that up again. Capillary action is the ability to defy gravity because the liquid flows upward without the assistance of ex external forces. It is possible by surface temp tension, cohesion, and adhesion, or adhesion and cohesion, whatever you want, wherever you want to say it. Um, my example for adhesion is water in a glass tube. The water molecules are attracted to the glass tube. So that makes a meniscus concave. <laughs> so adhesion is bigger than cohesion. My example for cohesion is mercury in a glass tube. The mercury molecules are non-attractive to the glass tube. So that makes a meniscus convex. So adhesion is smaller than cohesion. Adhesion is smaller than for than cohesion for mercury and adhesion is bigger for cohesion for water. So that's why mercury will not float up, flow up in the glass tube, and water will. Now we'll do an experiment about surface tension. So, right now, as you can see, I have a needle, and you and needles are needles are made from steel, and. And steel is more denser than water, so go see my buoyancy and density video about that. So, let's put in the water. You want to line it perfectly. Many people just do drawings so, because it's way more hard to put it. And let's Come on, come on. Yeah, I am putting it so more. You need it for where it's on the paper is because you don't need it perfectly horizontally. Take number five. And we did it! So, if you put it perfectly horizontally, it will float. And this all happened because of the surface tension. It's adhesion is, there's adhesion cohesion. Adhesion is like the water molecules sticking to the glass. 
cohesion is the water molecules bonding together. And so, and there's also one more atom. There would be, and they would, if adhesion was stronger than cohesion, it would be a menisci meniscus concave. And surf, and there's also one more element pulling, there's also one more element pulling down on us is surface tension. Let's say there was no, we would all be bonded together and those molecules would all be bonded together. But if a molecule leaves from the top, we would, the second molecule would be on the, on the top and there's no molecules to pull us up. So there would be pulling down so that's why the, the needle floats. So now I'm going to make another experiment. There is glass. Well, I have glass and plastic microscope slides on my microscope. I have a little water drop. I'm going to put the same exact amount of water dropped on each one. There it is. Okay, that. It's very subtle. The difference is very subtle, but the glass is. I did this experiment many times, but. And the glass is a little bit flatter than the plastic because water drop. Uh, water molecules are attracted to the glass, but not plastic. The reason why it stays together is because of surface tension. Now let's see what happens if I add a little bit of soap. It completely flattens out. So, this, the soap, is a surfact, is a surfact, so the water spread apart. So, the molecule of surfact, of a surfact, there is a hydrophobic, phobic part, and there's a hydrophilic part. That's why it broke the surface tension. In conclusion, capillary action is everywhere. It is in plants that suck, that bring water up to the highest leaves. And it is in chromatography. And it is also in, in our mess, is in, in, in in paper towels where we clean up our messes. It's also in our human body. In conclusion, science is amazing and fun, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe.